Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, SCCM 1810 Hotfix Rollup KB4486457. Yes. Uh, so let's get started. So what's the deal with this rollup? What does it fix within the SCCM 1810 environment? Uh, so let's click on this link right here. And Microsoft provided a nice little breakdown of what this update fixes. Uh, apparently, it fixes a lot of issues with uh, Office 365 updates, uh, the DP upgrade process. It looks like it fails, and this is supposed to fix it. And I will provide the link for this site so you guys can take a look. If you are having any issues with 1810, I will say automatically back up your server or back up your virtual machine and push out the update and hopefully it will fix any issues that you are having. It also seems that the rollup will improve performance uh, for the data replication services within your device discovery. So, I mean, I pushed it out. I haven't seen any difference. I haven't had any issues as of yet, but it looks like it's a pretty good rollup. All right, so let's go back inside the PowerPoint. And the installation is pretty seamless uh, for me. I don't think you guys need to do this, but I like to do this all the time within my environment. I like to go inside the configuration manager, service manager, and make sure that the three following components are always up and running. Uh, the first one is the configuration manager update. Uh, if you just right click on it and you know do a query, it will start it up. The second one would be the SMS DMP downloader. Uh, again, if you right click on it, Corey, it will run it. And the last one is my SMS DMP uploader. Again, you're able to right click on it, Corey it, and just make sure it's running. Those are the three that I like to make sure that within my SCCM stuff is running in the background to make sure it grabs and pushes out the update. This is for me. I don't know about you, but hey, let's continue, right? So. If you click on your refresh button, uh, you should see 1810 hotfix rollup KB4486457. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you right click on it, you could do two options install the update pack or you could run the pre Vesica check. Uh, I did install update pack, but rather than checking this guy off, which I normally do, I didn't do that, which is a good thing, right? Uh, click on next. Uh, I left it as the default of upgrade without validating, but you are able to validate within a pre-production collection. This is really up to you. I can't really tell you, hey, this is what you're supposed to do within your environment. I can't tell you that. It's your lab. It's your infrastructure. Uh, choose wisely. Uh, click on next. Accept the license and terms. Click on next. Nice little summary and click next and you get the green check mark. Green check mark is always a good thing. Once you close it up, you should see underneath the state column that it's going to start saying installing. That's a good thing. If you highlight the, you know, the hot fix and you click on show status, it's going to take you to this right here within the monitoring section. And you're going to have updates and servicing status for the 1810 hot fix. And this is it right here. If you right click on it and say show status or click on show status, it's going to give you a nice little overview of what's going on. A bunch of green check marks, which is a good thing. Uh, and then you're going to see that nice little play button, which is green, which is the installation progress, right? Now, uh, eventually what's going to happen if you, if you're like me, right? If you click on refresh constantly to see what's going to happen with the state, uh, to see if it's finished installing. Uh, you're going to get this uh, because your console needs to be upgraded to the following uh, build. So when you click OK, it's going to close up. And then once it closes up, you're going to see this. Now, for some reason, this happens to me all the time. And what I have to do is right click on the taskbar, go to task manager, and just make sure that the SCCM console is completely closed. Okay. Once I verify that, I go back inside this little dialog box and click on retry. It's going to start downloading the files. It's going to start prepping for the installation and it's going to start installing and it's going to start gathering information. And then once everything is completed, your SCCM console should load up and connect to the database, right? That's always a good thing. It's going to load up to the overview. And what you could do is click on the upper left corner, which I consider this like the file tab. 
and just click on about configuration manager and you're going to see that your console version has changed to the following. Now, if you click on administration and within administration, go to overview, click on updates and servicing, and you're going to see your hotfix rollup KB4486.5, wait, wait, KB4486.457. Yes, without looking, awesome. <laughs> Underneath the state column is going to say install. That's a good thing. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget about hitting that like button and please, Please, the first thing you should be doing with your virtual machine or if your SCCM is living in a physical machine, back it up before you start pushing up these hot fixes because there's always the chance that your SCCM is working flawless. You push this hot fix and then you get a crap load of problems and then you don't know how to roll up because you didn't back up your server. So make sure you snapshot the virtual machine or you do a full complete backup of the physical server before pushing out any of your updates. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.